Okay, we're over here on the west wall. This is the piping, the temperature pressure relief valve drain line piping for the water heaters. And it's not supposed to discharge farther from the ground or the floor or whatever, higher than six inches. And those are too high. So piping is higher than six inches along the west wall as we continue through here. This is the gas meter. And I'm just kind of going as we go. And that's the bonding for the gas meter. That's a good thing. And this pot is not supposed to be. I'm splitting hairs here. It's not supposed to be closer to the ground than six inches. So just kind of go over here. And we got it. Six inches. Okay, well. I needed to know. I needed to know. Coming inside here, here's those water heaters. This is the ones this is the piping that was higher than six inches from the ground. Remember, they reminded you of this. These are electric water heaters. All right, the electric water heater switch is in this electric service panel. So it's within sight. So we do not need switches up here. We have care and use manuals for both of the water heaters. And the electric bonding is obvious, okay? And dielectric unions are obvious, okay? Um, but the temperature pressure relief valves, these things, all right? They are supposed to be replaced every three years. It's good to know. And the insulation, this insulation for the water supply lines, it should come down farther and the insulation should also be on these two valves. These valves are not operated because I cannot see what happens underneath the wall. It's not visible. So I choose to do no harm and I'm choosing not to operate those. The uh, builder can demonstrate those if he likes or if he should you ask him to. I think he'd be perfectly willing to take that upon himself to, to help you out. Okay. Moving on along, these are two 50 gallon water heaters, one and two. These are the data plates. We've got still images of those, and we already said we have the care and use manual. And these are the safety pants, and they're elevated. So, really, the only thing that I'm finding incorrect about these water heaters is that we have our insulation is a little short on the water supply lines, and the temperature pressure relief valves are not insulated. And the piping discharges higher from the ground than six inches.